April is coming to an end, meaning we get to reflect on some of the best iOS apps to hit the App Store during the month. The first app on the list is called Cafe Wi-Fi. So you might find this app quite useful if you're a college kid or you use public transportation to get around town. Maybe you just are a, a world traveler. Cafe Wi-Fi documents the best cafes, co-working spaces, airport lounges, etc., etc., near you and worldwide to help you find the fastest Wi-Fi speeds and just the best places to charge up your electronics. The app features uh, business hours, directions, and prices, and there's much more. So if you're a world traveler, you should really check out this app and have it in your arsenal. Oil List is one of two picture editing apps we have on the list. It will turn your photos into beautiful pieces of art. The app uses computer vision technology to turn your images into oil paintings that look incredible. 4K resolution images can be captured as often as you like, and you can customize your paintings by selecting from 12 different painting modes, 4K resolution images can be captured as often as desired, and you can customize your paintings by selecting from 12 different painting moods, choosing from 15 different brushes, setting brush options, and you can use a chaos tool, which will cause chaos to wreak havoc on your images. Links below to check it out. Pictionary is a classic game now available on iOS. If you're completely new to Pictionary, you play as a team member and try to guess what your other team member is drawing on a digital sheet of paper. If you guess it right, you earn points, but you do have to guess the picture right before the time runs out. So it can get pretty competitive and challenging, especially if your teammate isn't a very good drawer. This app will let you play against other real players in real time, which I found to be pretty neat and lots of fun. Microsoft has released a new to-do list app this past month. It's incredibly simple and features an elegant layout. As it stands though, there's not a lot of customizable features, so it pales in comparison to apps like Wonderlist and Google Keep. However, Microsoft looks to be updating it consistently to help it better compete, and it does work well with your Microsoft account. So if you're invested in the Microsoft ecosystem, you might want to check out Microsoft To Do. Full of Stars is probably my favorite game released this past month. The gameplay consists of you in a rocket ship navigating through asteroid fields and collecting points. To move left and right, you hold the left or right hand side of the screen. When you release your finger from the screen, you'll float back to the center. So as you progress through this game, it'll continue to get more challenging, there will be more obstacles to avoid. But you add in the fact there's an intriguing story behind the scenes and um, an upgrade system that lets you upgrade your ship and whatnot, and you're in for a fun time. Ollie by Tin Rocket is the other picture editing app, but it's different than Oilist in that it will turn your everyday moments into hand-drawn art and animations. And what's neat is that it'll do so in real time, so you can see how an image or video will look before you actually take a picture or record a video. This is definitely a must-have for photographers. Prismo Go is an app that uses your smartphone's camera sensor to capture text found on a piece of paper. You use the app to capture the text and then you can decide what you want to do with it whether it be to copy and paste it in a message or share it to other applications. It works well and is a neat evolution of the basic scanner apps that have been on the market for many years. What's also neat is that if you have a Mac running Sierra OS, you can easily copy and paste stuff between your iPhone and your Mac, including text from Prismo Go. Hello Chinese aims to teach you Chinese through games, speech recognition tests, handwriting tests, and systematic pronunciation vocabulary and grammar learning. The app is extremely fluid and reminds me of Duolingo in a lot of ways. So if you're at all interested in learning Chinese Mandarin, then you should check out Hello Chinese. Funnel is an app geared for the news junkies out there. If you own a Google Home Unit or Amazon Echo, chances are you've used the News Flash feature which will read summaries of the news from various publications that you can choose from. Well, this app does essentially the same thing. You can use the app to select your favorite sources and play the news summaries. What's also neat is how darn simple the app is. It's so modern and elegant that it makes me want to use the app more and more. The last app on the list is Invert, and it's a challenging puzzle game. Similar to Sudoku or Go, you have to solve puzzles by flipping tiles. You only have a select number of moves, and there is a time limit to flip the tiles and make all of the tiles one solid color. There are over 160 hand-drawn puzzles, so you should be entertained and or mentally challenged for a long time. With that last one guys, those were 10 of our favorite iOS apps from the month of April. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. Maybe subscribe if you're brand new, and let us know which app is your favorite in the comments down below. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.